guess what? She's running like a dream. So we got the engine, got the new engine in. Um, it wasn't straightforward. There was a few problems on the way. Um, one of the problems that we didn't realise until we actually put the engine in was the dipstick was on, was on the wrong side of the engine. So um, yeah, that was an issue there. But you know, there was no um, there was no bung or anything there or a, or a pre-drilled hole ready for it. So where it is now, we've just got to. It's a bit of a pain, but you just got to move the battery out of the way, so it's no big deal. It'll be all right for now. At least we can check the oil anyway. Um, so yeah, got it in, got it fired up. You'll see. You might have seen in the in the bit of the video. It was a you know, couple of attempts of starting it. Got it started. Started pretty much quite, you know, straight away. Quite, it was quite good. Like uh, it wasn't until we put every, you know, put everything back on it. You know, manifold, um, exhaust manifold, exhaust. You know, all the other bits and bobs it started knocking. Yeah. So I thought, oh, thought the worst, didn't I? Anyway, it turns out one of the injectors were knackered on it. So I pinched all the injectors out my original engine, whacked them in it, and um, oh, spot on. Sweet, isn't it? Um, there's a few issues with it. It needs a new water pump and a new thermostat. Um, Water pump's just leaking a little bit. Um, the thermostat was, didn't work. We tested it before we, put, we, you know, when we changed it over. We tested it. That didn't work, so we need a new one of them. But yeah, apart from that, it you know, sounds much better than the original engine. Um, revs, you, know, you could feel it revving more. So um, I'll show you around. Do you want to hear it running? I'll start it up for you. Sweet as a nut. It doesn't even smoke. <clears throat> right, so the dipstick was supposed to be there. So obviously when you pop, when you open, you open the hood, it's right there for you. Right by the start motor. But on this engine, it's at the back of the engine and down there. Don't know if the camera could pick it up. It's down there. Let me think it's down there somewhere. So, it's a case of just, you know, undo one of the terminals on the battery, flip it out of the way, and you can get to it there. So, you know, that'll, you know, that'll be, you know, I can live with that. I can live with that. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm chuffed. Really happy that it's running again. It's been sat in the, sat in the trailer since February with no well, engine um, in it. I'm happy now, I'm happy it's running, happy the engine's in. Um, you know, like I say, it's been sat there a while. Um, it'll be good, good to get out of working. Um, but I have decided it won't be going out like a self higher basis anymore. It's, if it goes out, it's just me on it. That's the same with me, DCB. Um, it's too much to go wrong for the sake of 60, 70 quid a day, whatever it is, to self hire it. like. Um, so yeah, so um, it would be good to get it back on back on the jobs. So I just want to say thank you to my mate Rob to help me help me out with the engine, getting it in and stuff. So uh, yeah, really handy. Uh, you know, I haven't got a workshop, so I took it to his place. Uh, he did a lot of stuff for me. So uh, just thanks to him. And uh, that's it. So uh, you might see this in action now. Soon, make some videos when we got when I got working with it. I'll do a few videos on it, working, see how we get on with it. But I'm hoping it should be alright now. Once we do, I'll put a water pump in it, new thermostat, oh, and these copper washers on the injectors. 
but she should, she should be good then. Um, yep, yeah, she can start paying me back some money that she owes me. So I'll leave it there. So um, if you like the channel, don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Um, comment, subscribe. Thanks for watching. Ta-da.